day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Amen. Amen. And the last he says, the house divided cannot stand. Amen. Our country as a nation cannot stand if we're going to have, we're going to have uh, our political parties, our ideologies, our differences as 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 a means to divide the house. Can yes. Not? We can't do that. We we, we have to play for the unity of church. We should be able to agree to disagree. We, 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 I think we need really pray for the unity of the body of Christ. Yeah. We got to pray for the unity of the body of Christ to cross the pitch. If this nation is to be revived, it's going to be revived in that manner. There has to be a revival in the body. Yes, sir. So that's why I got well, that. Those two, those two things that kind of brought two things. Like you said, the mother of all problems. I'll preach that tonight, today. Part four. And then this one, it really tells us look, watch out. To what you consider your neighbor. Your neighbor does not mean justification to hurt somebody that's not your neighbor. Your neighbor is who you show mercy to. Yeah, and, and your neighbor doesn't need to be need to be justified. No. For for uh compassion. No. You don't have to justify oh, the compassion God. that you've given Woo. to your neighbor. You just but give it. Come on. That's the key, ain't it? Your key is that who's my neighbor? The one I show mercy to. And if I if I don't show mercy, it does not justify me doing bad behavior toward that person. That's the key. Now, Elder, can we wrap up what it show yours? If you can put it up there. But we're going to wrap it up with this one. But the key now is like, can we approach this the way he the scripture. Do you need to bring, you don't have the scripture up with it, Elder, or do you need to I do. Is that all right? You got it in there. And um, script, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, okay. So I went to uh, Luke on this, but went to Luke eight, yeah. and I just, I, I just pulled it up, and I just, I hit the high points on it. It says, "Discipleship as a central idea in the parable of the soul." That was, that was the focus. Okay. And initially, I didn't see it, and 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 I still, I did put a little spin on it, what we talked about the other day. So Jesus, in his explanation to, to his disciples, did not specifically address the discipleship aspect. He didn't. But his proclamation, but his proclamation, he that has ears to hear, let let him hear, implies that the conditions of the soil, and this is where the, the CIT comes in, the condition of the soil, the heart, the ears are mutable. And these uh, changing conditions are essential to fruitfulness or discipleship. So basically, it's addressing the person where they're at. Their yeah. heart is. That's just to me. You can't disciple a person who hasn't even hurt you. You know, if the cares of the world overwhelm if it's on stony ground, that's not going to be much of a discipleship. That's just throwing seed out there. Somebody else has come deal with that. So this yeah. discipleship, this, this yeah. CIT is not on uh matthew 16 24. well actually it was on matthew 16 24. i used the luke version okay of it okay because it gave me a little bit more explanation to where i was at on it yes i found it just difficult to deal with initially because i thought jesus explained it out pretty good but then when bishop added the other element of discipleship in i had to go back and look at it again and see this specific because he said that it was pretty overt uh where he where he was talking about discipleship yeah. When I went to Luke, it looked more overt when I looked at the word that he said, for those who have ears, they let them hear. Yeah. Jesus didn't, didn't force people to become a disciple. He allowed them to become a disciple. He inspired them, but he didn't just go out and say, hey, y'all need to follow me. He let, he let them know. I mean, he said, if you don't, you can't hear what I'm saying, hey, maybe in time you did yet, yeah, move, let's move. <laughs> and I think for me, for me, it, it's a very useful uh, tactic because uh, we we witness the thousands, man. So we can't really sit there and go like, oh, you, you know, you, you love the Lord, you gonna follow the Lord. You know, we can't do that. You throw it out there. If they grab hold of it, then they'll come back for the rest. 
Right. Or the Lord will send somebody else to water it. Yeah. And what what we want to be able to do is eventually really have those other units like this one. Uh -huh. Bible studies like these that people have access to. Yeah. Uh, churches that are teaching the word. And have them come out and disciple the people because for us, discipling people out there in the field is very difficult. Right. I mean, I guess we could do it, but uh, it's a lot easier if you got a, a location where you got a teacher mm -hmm. who is really teaching somebody I mean, full time investing in that. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what their focus is. We're going to yeah. be outside in another few minutes. So uh, we're going to go back to work. Yeah. But we, we, we're looking for ears that are willing to hear. Amen. Amen. And and they change. I mean, people's lives change. Incidents, circumstances change in their lives. Softens them up a bit. That's basically what it comes down to. Amen. Yeah. You got to wait until people get in position to see this thing. It's not like you right. can convince them of it. Everybody's kind of, it's for two minutes, everybody approaches who you're showing compassion for it and mercy for it. You, you don't really have a reason to do anything else, other, uh, except the Lord give you other, other unction, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you, you're going to preach the gospel. What's the gospel? To me, the gospel is the reconciliation of mankind to the creator. Woo. That's the good news right there. In the, in the yeah. synopsis of it, we've been reunited. <laughs> we, yeah. We're on the other side of the garden, back right with God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, take, take advantage of this. When you get in this class, and then they'll teach you a look, lot more about what that looks like. But First thing you need to know is that it didn't happen. Yeah, uh, you know, by faith, you can receive it. That's a done deal. When you said that, uh, Elder, something just popped. I mean, it just popped in my spirit. Uh, my, my spirit. We've been brought back to the garden. Yes, yeah. sir. But this garden, this garden has been changed. It has thorns and thistles in it. Yes, sir. <laughs> it does. Yes, you sir. know, it, 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 because what God said, it has to be. Yeah. So want. now, 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 this Garden of Eden, it, it is what it is, but we brought thorns and thistles in it. Yeah, yeah. That's what's in our soul, right, our minds. Yeah. Thorns, thistles, hard rock, you know, yeah. unbelief. Yeah, and, that's, and that's the unregenerate, though. That's the thing that I had to grasp, is that once you were born again, all that reversed back to where it was. As a matter of fact, it goes, I think, from my system, it goes beyond where it was, because prior, we didn't have a knowledge of good and evil. But now we have a knowledge of good and evil, but now we've chosen good. And we've been raised in righteousness. We've been schooled in righteousness, discipled in righteousness. So we've been reunited with the Father, with everything that those guys had, plus some more. Yeah. In addition to the thorns and thistles that are now in the garden anyway. But, <laughs> yeah, but now, you know, it said Jesus came to undo the work for the devil on yeah. Yep. So because you're involved in the system, because as is involved in the system, though I'm involved in the system, some of the things this has been done away with. It, yeah. Uh, and yeah, some, some, some of them are not in work. I brought some of them in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We gotta go ahead and get, <laughs> burn down them bushes. We don't need to do. We gotta <laughs> dig up them free with the plant. <laughs> yeah, can I? Can I put up my uh, CIT yeah. for discipleship? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta back off. Together. Back it out. Okay. Did I get it? No. It's still up there? Well, no, the, the slide's not there, but okay, you there can you go. There you go. Uh oh. Hold on. What we got here, too? We got Romans 12, 1, 2. To follow Jesus Christ, be a living sacrifice to God, don't conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the new and revived. And that's a scripture. And believe in Jesus Christ. Confess your sin, live faith from faith to faith, and put on the whole arm of God. To me, that's discipleship. Uh huh. That, follow that, Jesus. That, right? that, if you're going to follow him, come on. <clears throat> if he's going to disciple you, yes. then this is. This is the process. Yep. I agree with that 100 percent That we do. I mean, yeah. if 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 you're gonna be a disciple of a carpenter, yeah. By the carpenter. You'd have to give up what you desire to learn something from that master carpenter. Yeah. 
Exactly. Exactly. You yeah. can't be conformed to how everybody else is living. You have to conform to how that carpenter is living. Right. And then you have to renew your mind from what you think is being a carpenter is to the mind of that carpenter. Well. <laughs> so likewise, being the disciple of Christ, it's the same thing. Exactly. And the scripture, to me, the scriptures just just bear it out, Woo. you know. And and so that's why I just use pretty much just the scriptures to say because I mean, these to me explain discipleship. Each one, right. yeah. You know that that's very good, interesting because disciple to Jesus Christ, to follow Jesus Christ. That's the one thing the church hasn't taught. Yeah. That that is not the, the, the latter. We have been so distracted from Jesus that he's barely a part of the scenario. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But man, when you think about look, this man, look, Jesus. Hey, look, he is a central theme. He is without him, there's no need for nothing. And everything else just crumbles, right? Come on. If this guy did not die and resurrect from that grave, everything that we believe in is a crock of PC. And without him, <laughs> we'd all be investing in a farm. Yes, sir. <laughs> We we we're gonna need some 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 sheep, some <laughs> some turtle doves. <laughs> we gonna need a we gonna need a priest. <laughs> we need a lot. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot, and there's yeah. still have no hope without God in this world. Yeah, gotta have him. Man, what a God we serve. Y'all pray for me, man. I've been struggling lately. <clears throat> pray, uh, brother. We're gonna go ahead and do the communion. Uh, okay. And uh. But I was going to put a prayer for you. Put a, so you just struggling or what, Elder? This Help. walk is, is, uh, it, 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 the more the Lord, I understand what I'm supposed to be doing. It's a lot more stringent than I want it to be. Okay. I'm not accustomed to the discipline. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Man. I think I think if you keep this, it, I think if you recognize you got some ground needed to be cultivated, right, in our mind, and then Knowing who your neighbor is, that helps. I think it helps. I think I think too the others that is, is is when you say we when we deal with the uh, the gangsters and the thugs, I think we we take the we out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know I I I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I have these, these moments. You not a thug. You not. I have these moments where I be slipping. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. All I know is you're not out there doing the shooting up, shooting people in the neighborhood of Nathan. You're not the but one not. calling, uh, make, writing songs. Your songs don't say hoes and <laughs> me. Not your song. You don't sing no songs. No, right? no, I, 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 they, they ain't making it to the paper yet. And they definitely yeah. made it to print, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, look, if you do do that, that's a different story. Then you become the weak. <laughs> <laughs> But the body of Christ, we are in this world, but we're but not, not of this world. Hallelujah. <laughs> but you, the level of discipline in, in thought life is a thing that really, it, it, man, it's, it's 24 7. I, and I, I'm beginning to really embrace that because you don't have to slip for the moment. Yeah. You know, mentally go to the wrong place in the moment, you can lose a lot. Amen. And, and I have done that in the. Uh, God has been gracious enough to allow me to experience it in my flesh. Whenever I go cardinal, I experience it almost immediately. I will get sick. I mean, physically ill, and I have to make the correction. So, but what I'm finding out is, is oh, I did need to share this praise report. By the top number of the blood pressure was up around the 180s. 180s, 200, right? It's now down to the 150s. All right. Amen. Yep. Progress. So weight loss, about 30 pounds. Woo, 30 pounds. <laughs> yeah, zero medication at this point. Oh, wow. Just for the last two, two months, for the last two months, I've gotten off all the medication. The swelling has gone down about 60%. Woo. So it's been, a, it's been a turnaround, but you know, I'm still having to keep my mind in the right place and all that too. Exactly. So, so we're experiencing some tremendous changes and some tremendous stresses that are going on with me. Amen. Well, yeah. Keep on the path of losing the weight. I think that's the key to it. Yeah. And Brother Isaac will give us a prayer for that after we do the communion real quick. 
So he's going to give the communion, God the Addison, and then you close out with prayer, giving a prayer, a special prayer for Elder John. Oh, well, you can definitely do that. Amen. So let, let, let the brother do the communion, Elder. All right. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. He blessed it, break it, and he gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, all of you. But this is my body, which shall be broken for you. Whenever you do it, you are going to remember it to me. So he took the bread, he break it, and they ate. When the supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave thanks and praise. He blessed it. He gave it to his disciples and said, take, drink, all of you. But this is a cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It shall be shared for you and for all men, so that sins may be forgiven. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And so he took the cup and then drank it. And so in accordance with my brothers in Catholicism, and so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Amen. Amen. Brother Absent, give us that prayer, sir. Close it out for the rest well, of Father, we truly thank you for this day. We thank you for your fellowship with us, Lord God. We thank you that your spirit has been here. Uh, opening our minds to your truth, not ours, but your truth. Father. Amen, man. Amen. Preach. We thank you for the revelation that have been re has been revealed. Hallelujah. Father, we, we pray that these things fall on good ground, Father good God. Good ground. That they grow and produce fruit. Yes. That they produce fruit, Father. We we, we truly thank you for that. We thank you that, that uh, your word is life life to us to to our 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 souls to our 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 our, our well-being lord god yeah. we uh ask that you continue to 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 open our minds to your vision not ours but yours that we are disciples after you yes and your son jesus christ that your love Come is on. the principal thing in our life, Father God, that we yeah. we always <laughs> subject ourselves to that, yes. that we are the Samaritan that you desire, Father God. Amen. Amen. So that the hope of this world is not lost, mm. that the harvest shall be reaped. Yes. That we do our part, Father. And we truly thank you. We 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 pray for all those who could not attend. Yeah. This particular gathering, we pray for those uh, who who have their mind to to fellowship with you on this day, a day that's set aside so that many will go in to learn of you and be perfected. And we thank you for in advance for those who are being perfected on this day. Uh, Lord God, I, I, I look at my uh, my brother here. Yes. And I pray, Father God, that you continue mm. to lift him up in spirit, Lord God, yeah. Yeah. To, to, to give him a joy that surpasses all understanding, Father God, that you, that you open his mind to know the depth and the width and the height mm. of all that you have for him through his son. Wow, come on. That, that though physical exercises may profit a little lord god but your word is the key to life Amen. and life Amen. everlasting father god Amen. that Amen. our faith in you shall surpass any in every attack against our physical body father Amen. god Amen. Amen. that your healing will follow your word father god yes that by your sun stripes that we are healed yes and we truly thank you for that. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the manifestation of, of healing and well-being in our brothers. Yes. And we will be always careful to give thank you all you, the Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. And all the honor and all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.